Hi viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's start with a statement by Charles Dickens. A loving heart is the truest wisdom. The best and most beautiful things in this world cannot be seen or even heard, but must be felt with the heart. Helen Keller's statement. In addition to that, I like to quote Robert Frost's greatest thought. In three words, I can sum up everything I have learned about life. It goes on. And also another important thought, it's never too late for a new beginning in your life. Uh, with these thoughts, uh, let us try to attempt uh, one of the most famous classic in the writing, A Sunny Morning, written by Seraphine Jacqueline. Uh, a lesson, uh, uh, beautifully written in English literature. And with once again another thought, at some point, you just have to let go of what you thought should happen and live in what is happening. Yeah, let us start uh, the lesson a sunny morning uh, with the key points that we discuss. Uh, we have two important characters, Don Gonzalo and Dona Laurente. Don loved Dona, but separated by circumstances. You can call it fate. And due to unforeseen uh, reasons, Don Gonzalo uh, could not marry Dona Laurente. Interestingly, later, uh, it is once again a coincidence, Later, these two characters, Don Gonzalo and Dona Lorente, interestingly, they met in a park in Madrid. In their 70s, almost uh, after a quite considerable time, uh, their uh, once again fate uh, gave them a second chance to meet. Who are now in their 70s, old, very much aged, outlived their youth, uh, romantic past. Uh, the very interesting part. And uh, now, these two characters, Don Gonzalo and Dona Laurente, they are not having any other choice other than accepting this harsh reality of life. That is the main content, main bottom line of the entire storyline, Sunny Morning. Okay. Now, one more interesting part of the story is, these two characters, Don Gonzalo and Dona Laurente, they conceal, hides their true identity. And that is where the beauty of the entire story uh, moves upon. Down behind these two characters, huh? where they will hide, conceal themselves. Don Gonzalo behind a cousin, imaginary fictitious character, cousin, who as per Don is a gallant lover. And Donna Laurente, she hides behind a fictitious character, Silver Madden. In fact, as a reader of literature, we know that there are no characters, cousin, neither cousin nor Silver Maiden never exists. In fact, only Don Gonzalo and Dona Laurent exist. Still, they hide because uh, circumstances, fate separates them. Okay, they could not marry. Further, fast forward the present. Fast forward, who are in the 70s? Fast forward, what is the actual reality? Don envy Dona's eyesight, who is able to read on her own. Further, Don now he is promised to bring breadcrumbs and wouldn't scare the birds away, which happened earlier. And then, Don also promises he loved to sit with Donna. And it's almost like, you know, I consider it a very important point. That is almost like it is the underlying fact. God has given an opportunity for both Don and Donna, if not earlier in the past, at least now, to make up for their loss further. Both these characters, Don and Donna, tries to be happy with old age, uh, which is inevitable, cannot be avoided, a part of our life, uh, the old age looks, still they like to move on. It is almost like the main underlying theme of the entire story, Sunny Morning, is life goes on, no matter what. Huh? We cannot uh, be worried with the circumstances, uh, the fate, the destiny part, whatever it is. We need to accept life as it comes. That is the main thought of the key points of the lesson, Sunny Morning. Moving further uh, in the Sunny Morning with the uh, Don Gonzalo and Dona uh, Laurente characters uh, aside, I like to reiterate one of the important fact is uh, life is uh, a gift given by the providence. Okay, And uh, in this lesson particularly, coincidence, the concept of fate, destiny, play a very vital, a very evident role, huh? very important role. Okay. So, in addition, uh, the characters Don as well as Donna, uh, in their life, you know, it is almost like flashback. Uh, they try to rem remember their past. 
and that is where the uh, lesson sunday morning uh, makes it uh, really uh, interesting the theme that part okay both the characters they want to forget their past hiding their identity behind the cousin character as well as this lower maiden character and finally with a new hope they like to move on huh? concealing their past though they are separated by fate interestingly these characters both don as well as don are they never like to uh, accept they never like to reveal their characters reveal their identities and that is uh, very interesting as well. yeah further uh, the flashback part as i said earlier the entire story sunny morning it is nothing but a reminiscence uh, in other words sweet memories both the characters don as well as dona they like to remember they like to remember their flashback reminiscence what is that dona uh, tries to hide behind silver maiden huh? the character what is that silver maiden character in fact there is no silver maiden at all they are hiding in behind the fictitious characters the images as we see in the stories uh, silver maiden is lovely as lily uh, with uh, jet black hair black eyes okay that is the beauty of silver maiden as per dona then don he is hiding behind the character cousin okay uh, though we know as a reader of literature that there is no cousin character huh? a fictitious character don uh, tries to hide who is that cousin he is a gallant lover huh? very adventurous huh? uh, outspoken on the horse horseman huh? and further uh, bouquet or exchange of flowers it is going to uh, take place as per their flashback and further don tries to add a bit what is that in a deal uh, with the merchant uh, the gallant lover cousin uh, there is a fight between the cousin as well as the merchant and later to hide himself further from uh, further consequences he joined the army and later died in a battlefield in africa with a flag in his hand as well as her name silver maiden's name on his lips that we romantically don tries to highlight the character cousin now dona likes to add a bit further uh, so she don't want to leave uh, behind uh, the character silver maiden she wants to add more colorfully romantically what is that she adds a bit though she is lovely as lily in further the silver maiden goes one step further wrote his name the cousin character on the sand but later uh, providence has uh, the other way or the fate what is that the name being washed later by the waves and in addition uh, dona goes one step further what is that tide swept her out to sea so even the fate or the destiny uh, never like the silver maiden as well as cousin to uh, marry each other further see the entire story is nothing but the flashback we can make out as a literature student we need to recall the romantic past don as well as dona exchanging bouquet and all they like to conceal Uh, they are in 70s now they are concealing their age but still they want to be happy with the past memories sweet memories their passionate youth part and they pretend to be somebody else in our everyday life also we like to hide ourselves with so many other images hiding the true identities okay now the reality is don and dona they are in the 70s they are old outlived their youth and they are away from the romance the past memories so what is left for them is nothing but the sweet memories the reminiscence part which don as well as dona like to remember back to back and in the story line uh, sunny morning uh, both the characters don as well as dona you can find uh, them seated on a bench in a park okay so in the present part uh, moving away from the flashback there is a pinch of snuff huh? don likes to exchange with uh, dona and this i feel this is a game changer you know till then uh, dona seems to be very angry because uh, don already has upset the moment of the birds uh, where uh, dona is feeding the birds with bread crumbs okay and finally don promises in the extreme end of the story line what is that he promised to meet don dona again for the Uh, when dona asks uh, whether you like to go to your favorite bench don promises that he will share the same bench and he will sit with dona okay and further he also promises that uh, together both like to feed the birds and further he wouldn't scare 
the birds at all as he has done now see there is some sort of positive hope is there between these two characters though they know that fate has changed them destiny or circumstances have separated them in their life where they could not uh, marry and they be together the positive vibes is being highlighted that is the reason it is a classic in the making according to me okay further the concept of birds also is highlighting that the birds are really grateful and they will repay attention hmm? that is the reason donna is feeding the bread crumbs further okay so finally the main uh, another important theme of the entire story is the providence uh, the divine aspect okay it has given don and donna don gonzola as well as donna lorenta another opportunity another chance hmm? a golden opportunity to very interestingly an opportunity to accept their earlier passionate youth accept their mistakes you know uh, the you know outspoken uh, which they cannot express earlier okay uh, which are being hidden behind the fictitious characters down behind the cousin character donna behind the silver maiden character earlier that passionate youth feeling and now god has given them another second chance to move on further okay forgetting all their earlier uh, stages the concept of even according to me aging aging gracefully is being highlighted here the lesson sunny morning is also an important part of what is that aging gracefully we have to accept life as it comes we need to further move further okay we should not live we should not get stuck in our life we should move on in our life that is the main underlying theme here and that is the reality of life according to me further okay it is almost like a sunny morning is nothing but in one line to paraphrase to compile the entire story a uh, sunny morning a reunion of two ex lovers in their 70s huh? after over a considerable part of time okay they are aged totally old but still they don't want to forget their past reminiscences past sweet memories they want to recollect they want to remember and further with a uh, hope to once again live together hope to meet together with remembering their earlier uh, stage and that is uh, making uh, Uh, the total uh, story a sunny morning really meaningful and uh, interesting finally as i said earlier robert frost life moves on the same thought here whether you choose to move on and take a chance in the unknown or stay behind locked in the past thinking of what could have been as per the lesson a sunny morning life goes on okay further i want to highlight another important thought it might take a year it might take a day but what's meant to be will always find its way and that is the main underlying theme of uh, a sunny morning where don and donna both the characters try to hide behind uh, fictitious characters cousin as well as silver maiden but still they like to move on uh, forgetting their past huh? but not revealing their identity at any cost and they want to uh, be happy at least god or uh, providence has given them a chance in their 70s to meet once again in a park where they like to forget everything and they want to live like good friends now finally to conclude you know i like to quote a famous famous statement of the original saying what is that we are all visitors to this time this place we are just passing through our purpose here is to learn to grow to love and then we return home as per the original saying and uh, that uh, completely paraphrases the entire story a sunny morning where uh, uh, the both the characters don gonzalo as well as dona lorente tries to hide behind the fictitious characters cousin as well as silver maiden respectfully but still we like to remember a important fact that man is not having a choice hmm? uh, we are uh, having the choice to live to move further life goes on huh? Uh, we should not regret we should not get stuck with our past memories and all but still with those sweet past memories we need to move forward uh, with positive vibes to face the entire world with positive energy and that makes life really meaningful consider to like and share